Good morning, it's Will Welker and today we're going to have a look at the six layer duckweed farm. I built each layer out of wood and then I sealed it with Flex Seal, a brand named product. So it's sealed on the inside with Flex Seal. And I started off with these uh, four by four legs that I then split diagonally and that was fairly difficult to do so I changed to a two by four that's that works just as good but it's a lot easier to cut and then I have these 3d printed wheels and we have water comes in on the top and as the water flows over these wheels they turn and it's intermittent so it only runs a few times per day and it agitates all the, the pools and I've made several adjustments throughout the uh, the process of learning how to make this work. Um, so you can see with some of the plumbing I've added several pieces and it would have been unnecessary but part of the reason is I, I didn't want to spin this fitting here because that was sealed in and so rather than spin that fitting I just added some more to uh, make various changes as time went on. So these all spin in this direction and it uh, agitates the duckweed and this ends up with more concentration where it's accessible in the front and I have these lights actually on a string so they can be lowered so you have less wasted light and then when I harvest I can lift them up like that and algae is always an issue I'll see if I can find some algae to show it to you when I harvest this, what this is, is a perforated tray and then a solid tray. And I, I harvest it and kind of let it dry so it's partly or completely dry when I feed it to the quail and the mealworms. So what I do is I've just been harvesting it by hand and it helps me know when there's algae. And also you can see how thick it is. That means it's definitely ready to harvest. And I'm, I'm looking for any algae growing. And if I see any algae, I'll pull that out by hand with the harvest and it helps keep the algae population down. And I'll scrape along the back side, see if I can find some algae back there. So that's the algae right there. And that's not very much. Sometimes you end up with a lot more. And you'll notice it sometimes where the algae is floating on the surface, it'll create little bubbles. They're actually oxygen bubbles with the algae's off gassing. So let's go up to the next layer. And this one's not quite so thick. So since it's, le it's not as thick on this layer, I won't harvest as much. I'll look for, look for any algae. Now right here I can see some algae growing, so when I harvest I'll try and grab that. stool there. And so I keep a fan running for my microgreens and what I do is I'll just put it in front of the fan to help it dry out and 
and here's yesterday's. This is almost dry enough to feed. In fact, I've already fed some of this to the quail. This is what the algae looks like. I pulled out a pretty big chunk yesterday. As far as I can tell, the chickens and quail and mealworms eat that and have no trouble, so. And then eventually the idea will be to grow this out under the summer sun. Growing it indoors is only useful if you just have no room outside or you want to do some winter research is essentially what I'm doing. So right now on my hydroponic drum, I fill it with water and while it's filling, I mix in the nutrients and I have it right now siphoning directly into the reservoir of my, my duckweed growth system. And right now it's underwater, but there's a float. And when that float floats up, it stops the flow. And what happens is once the pump runs, it runs intermittently. So once it runs, it draws the water level down while it circulates water through all of the stacks. And then once the water is done running, the water slowly drains back down and fills it up. So during that low period, if it needs water, it'll automatically flow in through that float valve. And then the pump that pumps the water up, it runs through this Y. And normally it just goes this direction and pumps to the top of the tower. But if I need, to, if I need more hydroponic fluid for the rest of my hydroponics down here, I just turn this on when the pump is running and just fill, fill my little jug here. And I do it that way so that I don't end up with a mineral buildup in this reservoir. I'm constantly circulating water through it. So it starts in my drum and then goes here and then I cycle it from here through to uh, my tray hydroponics that I do on the shelves.